Hello everyone. I welcome you to the video two in this particular section. And what we are going to be dealing with is lagging in times series analysis. And uh, what we are going to achieve is to create a lag column or a lag feature. So I will show you how to do that. Uh, we are going to continue from the where we stop in the last practical section. So if you have all those uh, data frames that you have created, I, I do not expect you to close them. So they'll be useful for this one. You remember in the first practical section, we created a data frame called store one only. Now, and we use only one department, but in this particular video, we are going to use two departments. You will see the reason for doing that as we progress with this video. Okay, so this is the command that will take more than one uh, department, but it's still going to be store one only. So we want to create the lag column or the lag features. All right, so the data has already been restricted here. So if you want to know the, the property, just a matter of typing stop one department to shape, or you can use the lens to be able to, uh, to get everything that you need. You can see we have uh, 22 as the number of records and five as the number of features, or you can call it column. So, uh, that is that. Now we are going to proceed by sorting the record. We are going to sort it by department, year and month. We, we don't need to sort uh, by store because we only have one store. And the, the method of sorting is ascending. So we are saying if you sort by department in ascending order, by year in ascending order, and by month in ascending order. And we the essence of this in place is to register it on the system. Okay. All right, let's view the records here. So because I'm viewing everything, I didn't have dot head here. Because I have a sizable number of data. So you can see it's the one department, one month, year, and month sales. And we have the second the department as well for 2010 data, all right. So all the data that has been restricted to 2010 now, but we have more than one store data. So, so just follow this data, you will see the impact of the lagging. Now it's time for us to create the lag column. This code, we, we do the magic. I want you to note what we did first before we come here to do the to create the lag column we have sorted the data and we have restricted it to 2010 now uh, you can have more than one year more than um, it's not compulsory that you have only one year it's not come so you can have as many but you must be able to sort your value in such a way that as you do the lagging it will understand what you are doing exactly okay all right so uh, i'm viewing the data again all right so lagging is just uh, about creating a previous record so for example the when we go to this date this month of march the previous record of the monthly sale is this 131000 plus you can see if you draw a diagonal line, like a cross, um, a line like this, you will see that the data is coming from here. The data is, this value here is coming from here. This value here is coming from here. This value here is coming from here. We do a, we do lagging in time. When it comes to time series data, the essence of that is that there are some methods that make use of lagging. Like if you want to calculate your moving average, you need to rely on lagging a, a lot and uh, if you look at the 
the command that I used. So I did, I said shift one. So I can say shift two. It's going to, it's not going to be the previous one, it's going to be the previous two. So note that you can, it's just like the head, you can add as many values as you like inside that uh, parenthesis or bracket. Okay. So if you look at this lag record uh, closely, look at it, the 2010, look at it from month up to the store two. So you will notice a kind of error here. Uh, look at this. This one, this is the last month of 2010, which is 12. One thing you will notice that is this is taking it, this other record that you have here doesn't have any relationship with this one because it's coming from a different store. And look at it, it's coming even from the second one, which is February. So this one doesn't relate to this one. So when you do run your command, your code, it's understand the first one clearly, but the other one, you have to tell your code how to look at the data. And we're going to solve this problem now. How do we stop it? We use the group by. So we say it should group it by department and it should shift the month uh the month sales so we see now the problem will be sorted i'm running the code so if you have got the jupyter notebook you can do the same all right uh you can see the name i changed the name but i don't want to change the name let me revert back to the to the other name uh but okay i have to do the renaming but so uh, i'm just going to say monthly sales Prow. Uh, in order to compare, uh, let me, let's leave it like this for now. Stop. So one department two. All right. So you will see the implication of group by. See the first record here because I've already grouped it by is none. That means there's no record from this data set. It doesn't have any information. So it's assuming that this is the 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 starting point. Unlike before where it was taking the data from 2010 of december so this is correct in actually but now you need to for your analysis your python will not allow the null some of the algorithm will not allow the null. so you need to make decision around that and that's what we are going to do we are going to replace the missing value with zero okay so we can say replace with zero and look at the record again. All right, so all the nouns have now become zero. So what you have learned here is just about lagging. So as we continue with this particular course, you, you will see the essence of uh, creating a lag column.